This is the two-way ANOVA video on interaction. The purpose of this video is to clarify what an interaction means. Most of the details are located elsewhere. In general, an interaction occurs when the magnitude of the impact of one predictor on the outcome depends upon the level of another predictor. In the first example, the question was the type of rehabilitation. The outcome is functional status, assumed to be continuously scaled. The second factor of interest is gender. Accordingly, the first example in the slide illustrates the definition of an interaction within a two-way ANOVA. The second example in the slides illustrate that nothing essential changes if the scale of measurement of the outcome variable changes. There, the interaction pertains to a survival analysis. The definition of interaction will, will, intend, will extend to continuously scaled predictor variables, as we'll see later in the course. The next three slides present tables arranged as, as per one of the class exercises on, on interaction. The leftmost two columns of data contain the mean outcomes within each cell, and the rightmost column in red denotes the treatment effect. Here, the difference in outcome between the new and standard intervention. Put into the standard definition of an interaction, an interaction would occur if the magnitude of the effect of the new intervention improving rehabilitation outcomes differs according to whether the patient's condition before total knee replacement is fair or good. Here the new intervention improves outcomes by 10 units regardless of the patient's condition before surgery and thus no interaction is present. This is an example of a qualitative interaction. The numbers in red differ markedly, suggested that an interaction is present. Moreover, the signs of the intervention interaction affect differ. That is, the new intervention is better among patients in poor condition before total knee replacement, but is worse in patients that are in good condition pre-surgery. This is an example of a quantitative interaction. The new intervention is better than the standard one for everyone, a little more so for some patients than others. The magnitude of the intervention effect, that is 15 units in one subgroup and 10 units in, the another, in another, isn't clinically significant then this interaction would be classified as quantitative rather than qualitative. The details of performing the test for interaction are covered in other modules. From one perspective, what you do is perform a partial F-test that compares a full model with main effects and an interaction with a reduced model that contains main effects only. From another perspective, what you are testing is whether or not the model parameter that represents the interaction differs from zero. The previous example with inter effects of 15 in one subpopulation and 10 in the other, this regression coefficient would equal 5. To report an interaction, focus on the pattern of subgroup means. The examples used in this video, you wouldn't focus on the impact of type of, of rehabilitation intervention independent of pre-surgical functional status, but instead would present tables as illustrated in this video, or their graphical equivalent, and would then organize your discussion around well, the impact of the new intervention for patients in good condition was X, whereas the impact for patients in poor condition was Y.